Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and I want to show you a few more examples of negative exponents. So let's say we have 10 to the power of negative 2. Now, we can write 10 as 10 over 1. So what we really have here is 10 over 1 to the power of negative 2. Putting parentheses around it just means the whole thing is raised to that power. Now, to make our exponent positive, I need to take the reciprocal here, so I need to flip it upside down. So that means I actually have 1 over 10 to the power of 2. Now, anytime you have a fraction like this and you're raising it to a power, you can raise each part of the fraction individually. So this is the same as 1 squared over 10 squared. 1 squared is just 1, and 10 squared is 100. So 10 to the power of negative 2 is actually equal to 1 over 100. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have 2 thirds to the power of negative 3. Okay, so to make our exponent positive, we have to take the reciprocal of this. So just flip it upside down. So if we flip 2 thirds upside down, we get 3 halves. And now instead of a negative 3, we have a positive 3 for our exponent. Now, just as we did up here, we can actually raise the numerator to the power and the denominator to the power separately, and that's perfectly fine. So we actually have 3 cubed over 2 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So 2 thirds to the power of negative 3 is actually equal to 27 over 8. And that's how negative exponents work. Anytime you have a whole number, feel free to put a 1 under it so it looks more like a fraction. Then you can take the reciprocal of it and change the exponent positive. And anytime you have a fraction like this, it's pretty straight ahead. You just flip it upside down and make your exponent positive. And that's how negative exponents work. Thanks for learning with me today. If you like this video and would like to learn more about related topics, click on any of the links below. And please remember to rate, like, or subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific questions or requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you later.